Well, Justin Langer has opened up on the task of fixing Australian cricket in the wake of the ball tampering scandal. He spoke one-on-one -on -one with our own Matthew Pavich, and as always, he didn't pull any punches. So, no, he was, but did you expect anything else? Justin Langer has always been a straight talker, and he was true to form in this interview. In fact, he was confrontingly honest, telling me that he would have tampered with the ball if he'd been asked to by his captain. Doesn't sound like the Justin Langer we know, but listen to what he has to say, and he makes a telling point. Jay, thanks okay. for joining us. Pleasure, mate. Good Thank to you. see you, mate. No worries. How are you? It's been a whirlwind couple of days, but yeah. I've taken a breath. Justin Langer adjusting to life in his dream job. 24 years after National Pride started flowing with his first baggy green. Well, you know, I walked into this change room, this Australian cricket change room, with Alan Border and Steve War and David Boone and Ian Healy and Bobby Simpson leading it and you couldn't help but become a better person and a better cricketer because mate, it was a serious change room. In an extraordinary admission he says he gets why Cameron Bancroft carried sandpaper onto the field in South Africa. When I first became an Australian, if Alan Border had have asked me to tamper with the ball, I would have. No way Joe, you, no, no I would have because I'd be too scared not to. Yep. The difference is Alan Border would never have asked me and Bobby says it would have killed me. He would kill anyone who brought the game into disrepute. What I can't believe is that Cameron Bancroft walked into the Australian cricket team and he was in a position where he made that decision. The new coach wants the truth on his first tour of England next month. In terms of the culture, how it got to that point, I, I don't know. I, I, again, I'm not close enough to say, but I'll certainly find out. I'll be walking into the cauldron soon and um, I'll find out. Hopefully I'll get those answers soon. As hard as winning will be without Steve Smith, Dave Warner and Bancroft, Langer agrees with the bands. They're really tough sanctions. That said, they should be. Yep. And the reason they should be is because we've said for, forever, well, we don't bend the rules. We don't cheat. And brings up the 100. Giant skipper Steve Smith. But he'll welcome back the Newlands three and has no problem with Smith one day being captain again. There's not one person who has not made a mistake. There's five of us in this room right now and every one of us has made a mistake. Accepting one of the toughest jobs in Australian sport came with immediate challenges. Well, I left the press conference, got on the plane, I had 880 messages of support from people. So that takes a lot of responding, Pav. Did you get back to them So I spent, yeah, I got back to everyone. Langer's first crack at the Aussie job was unsuccessful. South African Mickey Arthur got the nod in 2011, but the West Aussie now says that was a blessing. He spent six years changing the culture of WA cricket, getting a valuable insight into what lies ahead. I applied for this the Australian job when Mickey Arthur got it, so two coaches ago, and, and I thought just out of play, yeah, I know about coaching, it can't be, whoa, the lessons I've learned, I've, I've served a great apprenticeship. What do you want the Australian cricket team to stand for? A respect. You know what, if, if you earn respect, most, a lot of people like you as well, because you know, it's, it's easy to like someone you respect. 